We had a conference call with healthcare providers. We were told very clearly there is a need. And then on Saturday morning, I posted to social media, we're going to start to try and make these things. If you have a 3D printer at home, would you be interested? Just email me. By the end of the weekend, we had almost 300 volunteers representing almost 600 printers that had signed up. First off, out in the world, this amazing army of volunteers is printing parts at home. They drop them off in a contactless drop-off box on our deck where they ship them to us. And in our vestibule, we've set up a little station where we decontaminate them with star sand, which is a disinfectant used for brewing. So once the pieces have dried, we're taking them to our other classroom where we're assembling them with the visor piece which is being laser cut downstairs. So our plan is to basically, that we can fit 120 of these on every sheet. We just bought 30 sheets, should get us the first 3,600 from what we can get here. But then we snap them together, um, and then our friends at Solab USA lent us a hot cutter so we can chop elastic bands super fast. Double layers of protection. Oh, good God. See what I'm saying? I, I think that strap yeah, should get longer. Yeah, no, that is definitely. So if this is eight, I think we should go with 10. Then we're taking them back downstairs to our wood shop, and we're using our wood shop because that's where the compressed air is, so we can clean the masks and do a final quick quality control. And then we're bagging them and packing them in cases of 10. That gets tagged with a case number, the time and date that it was put in, so that if hospitals do want a more sterile product, they can quarantine it for three days and then it could be considered clean. But I think we can get up to a production of 500 a day to make our goal of 10,000, that would be 20 days of production. It seems to be providing folks with some hope and positivity in an uncertain time. But to be really honest with you, I wish we weren't doing this right now. It's a symptom of a, a government that was completely unprepared for something and has left its most vulnerable citizens out to dry. All these processes and protocols from decontamination to what we should be doing to the manufacturing process and shipping and distribution and this whole crowdsourced phenomenon, we, we stood all this up in five days because our leaders are, are failing us. You know, it feels, uh, it feels like a catastrophe.